che abbiamo trovato qua, ragazzi. Come siamo stati fortunati. Bisogna proprio ringraziare Dio, figli miei. È come un paradiso, mamma. Mm. Vedrai, vedrai come crescerà l'uva qui. Oh, certo. Dammi ancora un po' di vino, Giorgio. Maria, non parlare italiano. Siamo americani. Speak American, eh? How many times I gotta remember you? Papa, the word is in mind. That's what I say, no? Maybe you don't hear so good, huh? <laughs> hey, Lorenzo, how much water are you bringing in today, huh? Oh, molto, Papa. You have enough for two or three days. Good, I can take a bath tonight. After the grapes, if they have enough of water, then it's your turn. Ah, mm. sta venendo qualcuno. Ma chi sarà? Ma? Ma buongiorno! All right, folks. Presto, va presto un piatto, è forte ancora stagione. Sì, Howdy. subito, presto. Uh, howdy, I, uh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, no. My name is Giorgio Rossi, American citizen. Oh, nice to see you. Lorenzo Rossi, American citizen. Hello. how are you? Maria Rossi, American citizen. Uh, oh, my piacere, daughter, signor. Regina, also American. Papa. Ma... Anyway, we're all American here. And you know who you are? Yeah, yeah, I'm Joe Carter. You are first the guest, that's who you are. Il nostro primo ospite. Ma come on, ma get us something to eat. Oh, that's, 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 that's awfully kind of Mr. Rossi, but I, it's very, very kind of you. But all, 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 all I really wanted was some, was some water. Water? Ma, you know eat the water. <laughs> what, are you crazy something? You know make a meal from water? I'm gonna cut you some bread. Uh, make you some cheese. Well, that, 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 that's awfully kind, but all I'm gonna do is hold you folks up. Hold up. I'm gonna kill you if you try. Oh, my no, Papa. He does not mean that kind of a hold-up. No? Oh, oh no. No, that's, that's not what I meant at all. No, what I, what I meant was you, you probably have a long way to go. No, we're not going no place. We're gonna stay right here. You're gonna stay here? Well, see. Si. We like this place of fine, no? Oh, you know, th th this is our land. Hey, that's what I like about America. Your land, my land, our land. I like American talk. Yeah, yeah, you don't seem to... Yeah, this is Ponderosa land. Ponderosa. Aye, that's a beautiful name. Maybe I call my wine that, but after the grapes grow. United States Ponderosa Wine Company, made by Giorgio Rossi, eh? Uh, m m Mr. Rossi, see, mm. the, pon the, the Ponderosa is a ranch, oh. and my father owns the ranch, and, and this is part of the land. I mean, you're on our land. We, we can't have nesters on... Nester? Who's a nester? I'm American citizen, the 100%. Ma, come on, I show you my papers. You don't believe me. Look, Mr. Rossi, I'm, I'm sure your papers are in order. And, and if you'd like to stay here overnight, that's perfectly fine. But you can't just live here. You... Just a minute. You think you're so smart. You know the preamble of the Constitution? We, the people of the United States Mr. of America, Rossi. in order to Mr. form a more Mr. perfect Mr. Rossi. union... Mr. Rossi? Mr. Rossi, you're trespassing. You're trespassing. You know the branches of the government? Executive, uh, legislature, judiciary. But you Mr. know... Rossi, this is our land. You can't farm on it because we own it. Ma scalzone! Bricone! Ma che dice? Renzo, spiegami tu, che cosa sta dicendo questo qua? Non so, mamma, forse dice la verità. Ma, ma no. com'è possibile se siamo arrivati qui noi prima di lui? Aspetta, 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 aspetta! You think you know everything. I know my rights. Patrick and Henry say, when the people want to be free, sometime they got to fight. If you not get off of my land, sometime it's going to come pretty soon. This is not your land, it's our land, and you're not going to farm on it. Now look, if you'd like to stay here I overnight... I think sometime can... is it here. Now you get on your horse to get off of my land. Now! My, off of my land. I'm going to tell you something. This... This is our land. Ah, and you get out of your house and you get off of my land. Yes. That's not your land. Voi siete un mezzo. Andatevene. Voi siete il ladro piuttosto che dite che questo terreno è vostro. Nostro è. Oh, one minute. Yes. You go away. Andate. You go away. Andate. Non mi apri la porta. Voi state dite questo terreno è nostro. L'abbiamo trovato noi. Ed è il buon Dio che ce l'ha fatto trovare. You go away. You supposed to be so smart. He was going to hold us up.
sound funny to you in the telling, but there's nothing funny about Nestor's. No, you, you remember what happened over at Jim Boland's place last year? Now, they dang near wrecked it. We don't want the same thing happening there. Oh, Joe. Oh, come on, serious. There was nothing funny about that blunderbuss he was waving around in my face either. <laughs> Joe, it seems to me like you just didn't use enough tact, that's all. <laughs> well, I suppose you would have handled the whole thing a lot better, huh? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I couldn't handle it much worse. Joe, they just got themselves a little mixed up. Besides, nobody can grow anything on that ground anyhow. Yeah, you, you, you want to know how mixed up they are? You want to know how mixed up? The wine that they're going to make. They're going to call Vino di Ponderosa. That's how mixed up they are. <laughs> Joe, he's just a poor little immigrant fellow, Joe. I'll ride out there tomorrow and reason with him and handle everything. Don't worry about it. But while you're reasoning with him, you better be able to explain the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Joe, look, I'm a little older than you are, and I've seen... I know, yes. You've seen so much more, and you've lived... And you know how to handle these things so much better than I do. Well, frankly, that's right. <laughs> well, I think I better be getting to bed. What? Oh. Good night, Pa. <laughs> Good night. Hey, everybody. Come over here. Come on and look. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Eh, bello, huh? Nice. United oh. States Grapes, Vino di Pandorosa, Giorgio Rossi, proprietario. Mm -hmm. Bello, Papa. And someday, I'm going to put and the sun right over there. Uh -huh. hmm. You're going to be big man in the United States, Territory Navarra, maybe even a governor. Hey, maybe even president. Well, he can't be president. He's not born in America. It says in the Constitution. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know this, too? Mama, I see. Mommy. What this man knows, you couldn't hold in a book. Mm. <laughs> Ma, it's because mm. I read in America. And when you can read, you know your rights. Yeah, I read on. Well, come. We're going to thank God for helping us with this land. In nomine Patri, et Filio, et Spiritus Sancti. Thank you, dear God, the Lord of us all, for help us with this land. We promise we're going to work hard to make it a grape, strong and sweet. You help us all the way from our home to our new home here. May you give us each other to love. I just uh, want to ask you one more thing. Help uh, all of my family to learn uh, patience. And then we're going to light a special candle. Thank you, San Antonio, for help us find this land. In nomine Patri, Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Howdy. Howdy, partner. My name is George Rossi. Uh, hi, Mr. Rossi. I'm happy to meet you. I'm Hoss Cartwright. Mm -hmm. My little brother came out here and talked to you the other day. Do you recall? I know. Came out here and talked to you about this property, or tried to. Oh, young fellow, mouth full of very nice teeth, pretty horse. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be little Joe. <laughs> Is it no good? Now, oh, wait a minute. Ma, don't you feel bad? My wife, she got an uncle. He steal a farm from his own sister. Ma, every family, they got a curse. No, oh, no, Giorgio, he no steal, I told you. It's like this. Scusi, what's your name? <sighs> Horse, ma'am. Oh, horse, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, I mean, no, just horse, horse. Well, a horse, you see, it's like this. My uncle, he went into Roma in Italia. And Ma, no, 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 Roma, Italia. But I speak American, Roma, Italy. Oh. My, my wife, she talk a pretty good American. Oh. Of course, not so good like me. <laughs> you like to have a cup of coffee? No, no, thank you. What, what I came here for, Mr. Rossi, was to, to explain some things to you, to sort of reason some things out, you know. Oh, that's a nice. Yeah, well, first of all, uh, Mr. Rossi, you, uh, you just plain mistaken. You see, this land here is ours. I, I don't know where that is that you're looking for, but this ain't it. And I know you've just made a plain honest mistake. Ma, we don't make a mistake. You make a mistake. You know a homestead act? I sure do. Yeah, the Ponderosa is all homestead. Where's your dwelling? Dwelling? You gotta have a dwelling for the people to inhabit. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I know what you're talking about, and we got one. It's up in the Panty Woods back north of here. Well, my dwelling is right over here. Come on, I'm going to show you. Come 
There is a dwelling. My dwelling. Well, fine, Mr. Rossi, but it, it still don't make no difference. I mean, they just ain't no way that this land can be yours. Now, if you stay here, people are gonna say you're a thief, and you don't want that, do you? Where's he going? He's going to get a gun and kill you. Oh. Mr. Rossi, let's do some more talking about Must this. Must be the pretty to one and now you. Mr. Rossi. Both the thieves you, you, are both you, you, trying to steal my land. Hurt a man of that thing, Mr. Rossi. You get on of you, horse, you, and you get you, out of here. Mamma me! means that I'm something less than a decent human being, but that just ain't so. Dad Bernard, I came here as nice as I knew how. And yeah, your papa just can't understand that this land belongs to my pa. You got a piece of paper what the proves that this land belongs to you? Well, no, I ain't, but, but I reckon my pa has. Oh, then the next time you want to talk to me, you bring your papa. I don't do business with the little boys. Come, my son. Oh, every bruise a badge of a courage. We have just to be gone to fight. Now, I'm, I'm mighty sorry about all that over there. I, no matter what you might think, I didn't come out here to start this. If there's anything I can do to help, we I... do not need your help. Next time, I'm not going to be so easy on him. Papa, no. ah. suppose he is right. Huh? You think maybe he's right? Uh, Who's well, telling me we grow the grapes here, huh? Who's telling me about the hummus dead low? It was Lorenzo. Oh, you be hush up. Papa, the word you mean is a quiet. And you be hush up, too. Why you think he's right? Eh? You some kind of a dumb head? No, Papa, I am not a dumb ah. head. Then why then you think a horse is right? Because... He just does not seem like a bad man. Ah, do I feel you are imbecile? Hey, eh? uh, think all the bad men, they have a sign, eh? It says, no, trust me, I'm a bad man. Ah, va, devi fare sempre il pagliaccio, tu. E tu ti sei fatto male, guarda. No, no, no. Oh, figlio mio. Oh, I'll tell you, Joel, those people are hungry. All right, come on, is that what the girl told you? Certainly not, she didn't tell me that thing. All you got to do is... Look at them and you know that they ain't got enough to eat. Well, they didn't look so bad off to me. Matter of fact, that girl looked kind of pretty. What did you think, Oz? Joe, that ain't got nothing to do with it. Oh. Huh. Well, how do you expect to get rid of them if you're making it so easy for them to stay? Joe, you catch a lot more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. Oh, you're right. You know, you're right. But we don't want to catch them. We want to get rid of them. All we got to do is just let them know that we don't mean no harm, that's all. Yeah, that's good thinking. Yeah, we'll let them stay out there maybe 10, 15 years. Gradually, they'll get used to the idea. And we'll break it to them gently. You know, Pa's gonna be here in a couple of days, and if they're still out there, you and I are in a lot of trouble. They ain't gonna still be there, Joe, but at the same time, I ain't gonna make enemies out of them. Well, the way you're worried about that girl, seems to me you wanna make relatives out of them. Well, just a minute, I'm gonna ride along with you. After all, you, you handle these things so much better than I do. I, I wanna be there so I can learn from you. Look, you've only been out there one time, you've already managed to empty the kitchen. I want to be on hand for your next victory. Some people just ain't got no faith, that's all. Papa, tu lo vuoi il sugo oggi sulla pasta? I know. No, pasta niente sugo per papà, va benissimo. Tu ne vuoi ancora? Basta questa quantità. No. Eh, lasciami abbastanza per Aspetta me. Aspetta che eh? mi sto confondendo. Senza sugo per te, eccolo qua che arriva. Now, Joe, I don't want you flying off the handle of these folks. Me? Look, I'm not the one who got in a fight with him. Well, that was just a misunderstanding. As a matter of fact, this whole thing's a misunderstanding. So don't bring up that homestead thing till they've, till they've learned to trust us. Come on. Throw in bianco per te. Si. Sì. Eh? 
Eh. Ehi, sta venendo gente. Ah, sono i Cartwright. Oh. Why you come here? You get off of my land. Now, just hold on a minute, Mr. Rossi. We, we didn't come here to make no trouble. Oh, you come and maybe make apologize to Giorgio? Well, we, uh, we come here to talk friendly. <laughs> That's nice. You come and sit down. Have something to eat. Uh, Mr. Rossi, I don't think we ought to do that. We you have do? plenty. Oh, we have plenty. Come, come on, sit down, down please, please, a little joke. Right? Well, we, we don't want to take the food out of your mouths. Oh, yeah. look, we have all kinds of food. Look, you like a pasta? Uh, show them what you got in the sack, Santa. <laughs> I, uh... <clears throat> I brung you a little food. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> people want to bring other people food. They can't be all bad. Avrai ragione, forse dici bene. Ciao, mamma, prendete. You like, eh? While you people eat, Lorenzo and I, we're going to go get to some water. Uh, Mr. Rossi, talking about that water. You know, that's a mighty long haul for you folks to have to make. And I've just been thinking, I know this beautiful little piece of land about 10 miles south of here. Oh, but there is plenty of water right here. Here? See, si. Now, look on the tree. How you think they live? I tell you, they push them a roots way down a deep where is it the water. Well, sure, Mr. Rossi, I know there's many underground rivers all over this desert, but they're all alkali. I make them appear again, that's all. Lorenzo, andiamo. Uh, finish your dinner. What are you looking at me for? It's uh, very simple. He's going to make the water pure again. What's the matter with you? Mm. That was good. Sure, yeah. You know, Regina, that, that papa of yours is kind of a muley one, ain't he? Oh, see, si. he's nice. <laughs> That's a funny-looking coffee pot. What is that? Oh, it's Café Espresso. Italian coffee. Yeah? See? Si. Italian coffee, huh? You like? Mmm. I never, never tasted anything quite like that. <sighs> I think I'll take my plate over there. All right, here's more dishes. Grazie. Can I, can I give you a hand, Mrs. Rossi? You? Oh, no, you poor thing. You poor thing? Yeah, you've you, you been sick, eh? Who, me? No, I'm fine, man. Oh, you're too skinny. Too skinny, look. look you, you, no, no one could even pinch you. Non c'è niente, lì. You want some more coffee? No, 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 thank you, Regina. It's, it's fine, but I sort of like this wine, too. It's mighty fine. You, uh, like my cucina italiana? Huh? Italian food. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's delicious. It kind of sticks to the ribs, too, don't it? Oh, Italian women are all very good cooks. Do everything to make a man happy. From the time we are little girls, we learn how to sew, to cook, to bring happiness. Yeah. Look, Regina, this may not be none of my business, but... Well, uh... Have you been spoken for? Spoken for? Uh, well, I mean, uh... Have you, uh... You got a feller you like? Oh, see, si, many. Lorenzo, Papa, you, Tonio. Tonio. See. Si. Who's he? Fidanzato mio. Fidanzato? Si. What's that? Oh, he's like, uh, how you would say, the trusted one. Oh, like a friend. <laughs> well, everybody's got to have friends. I mean, I mean, where would we be if we didn't have a few trusted ones, right? <laughs> si. <laughs> You know, wine is a much more than just a drink. Wine is a more than just a for cooling the tongue. When you make a wine, you're never alone. 
you a partner with the sun and of the earth. You use it God's a gift to ease the burden of man. Wine is not just the one thing, is a many. Now, when the two people, they're in love, there is a wine. When all the persons sit, watch the sunset, feel cold, there is wine. When a man, he want to be alone, hear his soul, there is a wine too. And when a man makes a new friends, there is also wine. So I drink it to you, Mr. Hosekar the right, Lily Joe. A salute. Good luck. Salute. What's the matter? You not can sleep? I've been thinking. It's a long way from our village. From the little house where I take you for my bride. Long way. I think maybe Giorgio Rossi is make a mistake. Ma no, Giorgio, che dici? Take your wife, your bambin. I come to a stranger country where nobody's know me. Nobody cares about your wife, your bambini, nobody. What are you talking about, Giorgio? We have friends already. Friends? Jose Carteright, Lily Joe, you think... But sure, they're nice boys. They're very nice boys. But they don't know how I feel. They don't know what I want. They don't know in here, inside, how I feel in our village. Everybody know how I feel, what I want, because they wanted the same things. You understand? Sure, I understand. <laughs> now we come to this country, we, we no can go back. That's what makes me worry. What happens? The grapes, they die. The grapes no grow. <gasps> how George Giorgio Rossi going to take care of his family? Look, you make barrels before. And then you make barrels again, that's all. I'd rather die first. Look, look, look at these hands. At the hands of a farmer, a grower of grapes, and not the barrel maker. My father, his grandfather, and his father, they all grow grapes. George Ross is the only one to make the barrels. I think it's very bad for a man to try to be something he's not. Giorgio, look. We got the land, huh? Our land. We carry the grapes, our grapes. We pray. We pray al buon Dio. And the grapes, they will grow. Don't you worry, Giorgio. Pray. Abbi fede, amore mio. Don't you worry. Everything's going to be all right. See. Si. Our land. <laughs> Hello, Seth. Glad to see you back. Well, it's good to be back. You haven't seen my boys, have you? They're supposed to pick me up. Well, it could be they're picking grapes. <laughs> what? Oh, you're a sly one. Importing tenant farmers clear from Italy and all the time making out you're a cattle man. <laughs> <laughs> tenant farmer? You're getting old, Seth. Well, now, there's no need to be insulting just because you're on your way to becoming the Nevada wine king. What are you talking about? You mean you really don't know what I'm talking about? No. Well, little Joe will fill you in. How you doing, Pop? Let me, let me take your bag. Never mind the bag. I understand you've got something to tell me. Something to tell you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. You, 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 look, you look great. I, I think it did you a lot of good getting away. Did it? Well, the way Seth Hayes was cackling, I don't know if it did. Hey, Joe. Oh, how you doing, Bill? I hear tell you gotta stomp them grapes to get the juice. Old Hoss has sure got the feet for stomping. 
Yeah, I'm going to do a little stomping in your direction if you don't shut up. Hey, you just hold your tongue. Now, what's this about grapes? Grapes. Grapes. I think I better show you. Dino de Ponderosa. Georgia Rossi proprietor. I didn't think you'd be too happy about it. Oh, that's sort of the understatement of the year. Right over there. Yes, sir. Ponderosa. His Holiness uh, the Pope. He have uh, such a house uh, on the lake uh, Lago Albano. Ah, it's uh, beautiful. The lake is uh, blue, the trees green. Right. Now you're getting the picture. All it needs is just to have you go up there and homestead it. Sounds very good. Good. <laughs> For somebody else. The grapes, they grow much better in a hot sun. Hi, Paul. I, I'm surprised to see you out here. Yes, I figured you would be. Yeah, I... My, you sure have got a nice suntan, Paul, and it's real becoming on you. Paul, this is, uh... This is Mr. Rossi. Mr. Rossi is my Paul. Mr. Rossi? Mr. Cartwright? Maybe you'd like to come inside to have some coffee? Regine! No, don't, don't trouble yourself. What I have to say will take a very short time. Whatever you have to say, it sounds better here. You see, when the two people have something to say to each other, it's more better if one is not so far down from the other. Si, Papa. Mr. Cartwright, may I present my daughter, Regine? How do you do? Now, Regine, please, make her some coffee. Bring in the side, eh? Mr. Cartwright. Go easy on the coffee. No, please. Now we talk. Now, look, Mr. Rossi, what I'm about to say may seem uh, blunt to you. I thank you for the hospitality. It's been very generous, but this is my land. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You son of a horse. He tell me this is your land. You are a son. He tell me the same thing. This is your land. You got a fence? No. Uh, you got a sign like me? No. I tell you what you got. You got the big ideas. You think you're big land baroni? Oh, I know lots of people like you in all the country. You think I take off my hat to you? I say, yes, sir. No, sir. Well, you think wrong. This America is no bigger man, a little man. is only men. Uh, you like to have some coffee now? No, no, thank you. You know, understand. You see, I work very hard. I save money. I bring my family to America. They make a bigger shadow on this land. Oh, I'm sure they will. I, I know they will, of course. But, uh, you see, I, I, I agree with you. I, I feel exactly the same way as you do about, about things. But, but you see, you, you can't go through life defying the law. And this is my land. I know, Homestead the law. But you gotta have admirable dwelling. You got to work at the land. Why, what do you think, I'm a stupid? No, of course I don't think you're stupid. You know, you're not a very good listener. Oh, I listen very good. Ma, but you always come back and say the same thing. Your land, your land, get off of your land. This is my land, you get off of my land. All right, now listen to me, and listen real good. This is my land. You can't grow grapes on it, you can't grow anything. Is that understood? I'll give you a week to get off. And now the big land baroni give me a week. When the week go by, I'm still here. Then what happened? Then I'm afraid I'll have to move you off. And I'm afraid I have to fight. I would consider that very carefully if I were you, Mr. Rossi. Just remember, the law is on my side. This is my land, and you are trespassing on it. But I know the law. And I tell you, you trespassing, and you get off of my land. Well, there you are, Mr. 
Mrs. Bixby. It's not gaudy, but it's neat. <laughs> Please, Mr. How much is this to hold? Oh, good morning, Ben. What can I do for you? Well, I'll, I'll wait. Mr. Rossi was here ahead of me. Well, if that's the way you want it. I, I take this one, a dollar fifty, huh? That'll be two dollars. Well, this is a dollar fifty. Well, the price just went up. Take it or leave it. I leave it. What's wrong, Papa? I gotta find another place to buy a hole. Howdy, partner. Hey, Billy. One of all them Italian gals are as pretty as this one. Well, I ain't what you'd call an expert. But uh, I hear Hoss Cartwright is getting to be real knowledgeable on that subject. <laughs> Maybe you could help us out, mister. She's your daughter, ain't she? Well, put your hands on me. Ain't no call to get feisty. You foreigners got some strange customs. What the fuck you call him in a foreigner? What should I call you? I'm an American. I'm just as so good American as you. Well, now, you know you don't look it. You take that hat, for instance. Now, I ask you good folks, did you ever see such a hat? <laughs> Hold it, Billy. Come on. Hold it! Let go. What's the matter with you, Billy? Give Mr. Rossi's hat. You ain't siding with this emigrant squatter, Mr. Cartwright. Now clean up that hat and hand it to him. I just want everybody to get this straight. What's between Mr. Rossi and me is between the two of us and no one else. I don't need anybody's help or anybody meddling. Thank you, Mr. Cartwright. But, no, I still got to find some place to buy a hoe. I just couldn't believe my ears. I simply could not believe my ears. Billy Laner, of all people. <laughs> I remember when his father first came here, Dutch Laner. Couldn't put two words together without putting the cart before the horse. Barners, we're all of us partners in one way or another. Paul, I've been thinking. That land out there don't mean nothing to us no more. Why don't we just give it to him? Well, I'd be doing a disservice to every other landowner in the territory. I'd be establishing a precedent for, for nesters. Well, we're not going to make a habit out of it. No, it's true. But what, what would it do to Rossi, a man like him? man with this kind of pride if he found out that I'd given it to him. Can't do that. And Paul, there's still there's just two ways you can get rid of something, and that's either sell it or give it away. Well, he can't afford to buy it. Ah, no, the going price he couldn't. Hey, Paul. Yeah, I know. I know. Why do we have to sell it to him at the going price? Right. Right. Howdy, Regina. Renzo? Hello, Hoss. Mr. Rossi, is your husband around? He's in there. I think he's not well. He just sits there and he stares. Is he hurt? Seguro he's hurt. <laughs> you, uh, you think it'd be all right if I went in there and talked to him a minute? Rossi? Hoss, please, hey, come in. Come, sit down. Thank you. I, uh, I heard what happened with all them yehus in town. I'm sorry. What? You, you sorry? I, I'm going to leave? Leave? I, I lose my shadow. You know, the, the bigger shadow the Rossi said they're going to make on the land. You see... I have a dream, but here. I, I see the grapes, they grow, they get the fat. The people, they laugh, they're happy, they drink my wine. Today, I go into town, 
and the people that they laugh at me, they make fun of my clothes, they throw my hat, I lose my temper, I fight! Why they hate me? They don't even know me. Well, that's just it, Mr. Rossi. They don't know you. See, they're ignorant. And that's the way with an ignorant man. He, he hates anything you don't know or understand. Let me tell you something. That dream you had, there wasn't nothing wrong with it. It's good. Where would this world be if there wasn't men like you that had dreams and had, had the guts to make them stick? And you ain't lost your shadow, neither. You can, you can cast it right here on this land, and me and Poe and little Joe will help you. you. You want me to stay? You doggone right stay. <laughs> I, I, I'm wrong. I think I now have a friend. <laughs> I have a three good friend. God right the family. <laughs> He's a very good to you. You admit that you make a mistake about the land. <laughs> Marie! Mr. Rossi, I, Marie. Wait, Mr. Rossi, I don't think you understand. Mr. Rossi. <laughs> Hey, set another place. We're gonna have a guest for dinner. Lorenzo, come on and we walk the grace. Mr. Rossi, now hold on just a minute. That's Bernie. Hold on to what? Ma, I don't even tell them what do you say. Well, that's just it. There ain't nothing to tell them. Now, Dad Burnett, we're misunderstanding one another again. What I meant to say in there was. Well, what I meant to say in there was that we'd. We'd sell you the land. Sell? Sell? Now the big shot for land the barony want to take a George Osamon on there. Now, Mr. Rossi, if you'll just be reasonable. Reasonable? Who's no reasonable? You. Who has no sign? You. Who has no papers? You. Who has a dwelling? Me. Who planted the crops? Me. And I know by no land what to belong a USA citizen. Kill mm. Adro. Papa. You don't say nothing. Pick up a barrel, come on. We're gonna water the grapes. Uh, Mr. Rossi? My son, Horst, tells me that he talked to you about... You still think you big land barone, huh? Don't you know you can sell what you don't own? Do you read? Of course I can read. Come on, Ed. Morning, George. Morning. George, get me out the plat mat of the Ponderosa, would you please? Is a seal of the United States. Washington, Lincoln, yep. Bill of Rights. Mm -hmm. This uh, official uh, genuine USA officer. Yeah, you can bet on it. it is. Now look, give me. I want to see. Huh. Here. From here, around here, and there. Huh. And that's the boundary of the Ponderosa. Huh. Now, you see that? You know what that is? That's where the grapes are. That's right. That's it, mister. Finita la comedia. I'm gonna get off of your land. You know, I've been thinking. I'd sure like to get rid of that piece of land. I'd like to sell it. Hey, how about a hundred dollars? One hundred dollars? I know the value of the land is worth much more. No, not to me, it isn't. Giorgio Rossi is a no-take a charity from a nobody. I'm not offering charity, I'm offering to sell a piece of land. Please. Maybe you think Giorgio Rossi is a, 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 a crazy. I don't think you're crazy. I'd just like to get rid of a worthless piece of land. You can pay for it don't over a longer period no of time. Don't say no more. Just to say goodbye. Now, hold on there. Now, what are you going to do? Do? Yeah. What about what about the grapes? They're gonna die. The land go back just the way it was. And I'm I'm gonna make barrels. You gonna make barrels? But, uh, I make the best barrel in the whole world. You ask anybody. But I don't like making barrels. I like making grapes. It's the only way I know how to make money. Outside making uh, grapes. So I'm gonna make barrels.
I'd practically try to give him the land. But would he take it? No. I've never seen a man so prideful and stubborn in my life. Oh, you're a little bit prideful yourself. But not stubborn. Well, well maybe strong-headed. I'll tell you one thing, he sure knows how to work them grapes. You know that little cuss has got some way figured out to get all the alkali out of that underground river? Some kind of a filtering system or something. And I'll bet you can make it work. Where are you going? I'm gonna try to talk a good farmer out of being a mediocre barrel maker. Don't cry. Not, there's going to be another time, another place. Ah. Mm. Now look, Rossi, you can't do this. Ma, I leave. Don't worry. I'll no, leave. wait a minute. Wait a minute now. You're not going anywhere. What's the matter with you? You do everything you can to make me leave. I leave. Now, wait a minute. Can you get the black alkali out of the water? In Italy, we know ever so much water. We learn to use the what do we have. Yeah. How? How do you do it? I need to know. You need. You need. Mr. Rossi, I'm a cattleman. Do you know how many head I could run over the other side of that ridge if I could water them? Five, six hundred head of cattle. Do you know what that means in dollars and cents? Always in dollars and cents. Oh, I see. Well, I guess maybe that was another one of those dreams of yours. I don't know if you get the black alkali out of the water. Or... Hey, listen. George Rossi may be many things. Maybe he's a little foolish, but he's not a liar. Come on, I'll show you. I'm going to build one cistern there, another one over there. So you'll have a lot of water with uh, black alkali. Please uh, let me finish. In the one cistern up, put the canvas bag full of gypsum. Water still run down the hill, no? The water run through the canvas bag, through the gypsum, run down to this cistern to come out the fresca, pure. Yeah. Mr. Rossi, I'll trade you this section of land if you'll help me set up this system in two places. Now, this isn't charity. I need it. You put them in writing? In blood, if you want it that way. With USA seal? We are the trimmings. Hey, bon. <laughs> we make a business. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Everything off for the wagon. Uh, Money. <laughs> Mr. Cartwright, you never know how happy you make me. Oh, Lord Jean, I know. I know how much you care about your father. Oh, see, but it is more than that. My fidanzato arrives tomorrow, and if we had to leave oh, it... Oh, yeah, Horst told me about that. Your friend, your trusted one. See, si. huh? and if it were not for you, well... Oh, is she going to right? Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Has he arrived yet? No. Okay. <laughs> My, that sure is a pretty dress, Regina. Oh, mm -hmm. I got to look pretty for Tony, oh. Oh, he's going to be such a big help to Baba. He knows all about the grape. You're going to like him, horses. Dad Burton, I wish you'd get that down to just one, just plain horse. Well, no, I think you're big enough to be plural. <sighs> That's not so. I like him just the way he is. <laughs> some of us got it and some of us ain't, little brother. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you. Uh, this is Mr. Cartwright. Mr. Cartwright? It's a horse Cartwright. Horse? Little Joe. Mr. Joe. Is it Antonio? Antonio. Regina. Benvenuto. Go 
से बहरा Come contenta regina, eh? Eh, anche Antonio, guarda da là. Beh, avanti ragazzi, su, andiamo a casa che ci aspetta un bel pranzetto. Eh, andiamo. Andiamo, a più tardi, signori. Don't worry, you're gonna be the first ones invited to the wedding. <laughs> Arrivederci. Go on. Oh, I'll show you right again. Just like you said, some's got it, some ain't. He's right, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs>